Meet Jeju. Ooh. Classic vibrator, the vibrating pebble, and a cock ring. And the most important part, not really, the motor. Jeju, luxury sex toy company. Love their stuff. I love the G-key. It's like this G-spot thing that's amazing. Their Mimi is great. They come up with this new concept. It's a modular sex toy concept. Reason they did this is they're like, hey, you know what? Motors burn out on toys. And when they burn out, you got to throw away the whole toy. So what if we made a bunch of toys? with insertable motors. So you only had to buy one motor and then you could buy the different types of vibrators and sex toys and whatnot and insert your motor. And then when your motor dies, that's all you have to replace. So it's more cost effective. Sounds like a brilliant idea, right? So they did it. They made this line called the, uh, uh, ooh, oh, ooh, oh, oh, I don't even know. I think it's ooh, but then it sounds like ooh. And I, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna look up. Corey and the Cambridge Dictionary. This is how you pronounce it. O-O-H. Ooh. Ooh. Or English version, because that was the U.S. Ooh. 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 It sounds like ooh, and that's kind of what my vagina and vulva thought were kind of like, ooh. Here's what I got. I got all three in their new line. First of all, here's the motor. This is the largest motor that they have right now. They're actually going to get a mini motor. There's going to be more stuff released early next year. I got the pebble. So you look in here, there's like a little little spring and little connections in there. So you put it with the, the motor and boom, little clip toy. Then I got the classic vibrator again, boom, little vibrator thing. And then the cock ring, got the cock ring, boom. So, you know, da -da -da. put it on there. Da -da. If you uh, follow me on Periscope, I unbox these live on Periscope and it was a little bit of like, uh, I, I put it in. First of all, I couldn't turn this thing on for the life of me. I don't know if it's like my fingers are starting to get arthritic or the button's funky. Ken had no problem with it. But for me, this thing, when I try to turn on, it won't turn on. And then when I'm not trying to turn on, it just goes on by itself like a poltergeist. So I don't know. But yeah, I can't. Oh, it's on. Okay. So I turn it on and I'm like, you know, it kind of feels like the motor that's right here is vibrating really heavily on my fingers where you're supposed to hold it. And here that's supposed to touch my clit, it almost feels like it's dampening the vibration. I'm like, you know, but uh, let me try it. Who knows, right? So then I plug in the classic vibrator and I'm like, let's see, turn that baby on. And it's like, oh yeah, I'm feeling it all down here, but I hardly feel anything up here. What the hell? So I use them. Sure, sure enough. This one is okay. I like clit toys, but I like really strong clit toys. And it was annoying me because I always want the strongest. Give me the biggest, biggest, strongest, strongest. And it was annoying me that it was stronger where I was holding it than what was on my clit. And a couple of times I really did turn around. Like I, I really think that just <laughs> this should be the toy, like a little mini bullet. Cause this is amazing. Like this is great. Then this. This was kind of disappointing. This was incredibly disappointing. Could not feel the stuff up here. The shape was great. Like if this were just a dildo, this hits my G-spot. Great, but it doesn't vibrate for shit. Dangerous Lily. She is a sex toy reviewer. She's fucking fabulous. Go to her website, dangerouslily.com. She also reviewed this. And she found the same problem. She's like, hey, it's not vibrating here. I'm going to take my razor blade and cut it apart and see what the hell's in here. So what she finds is, I'm not. she cut it apart, so I'm not going to do it. I'll flash it up on the screen. This is her picture, what she found. There's this inside. Little connections. There's a little spring here and then little two little like battery looking connections on each side. She cuts it open and this is what she finds. There is a, like a plastic pole that's supposed to carry the vibration up to the top. It does not work. That's the most ridiculous. I was like, who's, who, no, no. This was a major fail. This one, minimal fail, like slight fail, you know, ah, major fail. And then we get to the cock ring. Get my husband, Ken, he's the one with the cock. I'm like, hey, put this on. Cannot get this thing on when he's flaccid. 
unless he lubes the hell out of it and goes like really gently. Then he gets it on. There's a seam all the way around the middle. So he's like, the seam is scratching my dick. And then, it, you know, trying to get hard, it's like choking it. it well, that's where we ended there. So the, the cock ring, major disaster. Cock ring, no. And then comes the price. Okay, this is supposed to be more cost effective, right? So this is 50 bucks. The motor, 50 bucks. The pebble, $25. Okay, this is the only thing that's like okay out of the whole thing. So this is $75. How is that saving money when I can go buy the Lilo Siri? About $99. 10-year guarantee. One-year warranty. If anything goes wrong in a year, they give me a new one free. And between two and 10 years, they give me a new one at 50% off the price. Not bad. Embrace foreplay. Awesome. 70, 80 bucks on the internet. Wonderful. Fucking love it review coming soon. Uh, the uh, We Vibe Tango, same thing. You know, just for 20 bucks more, 15, 20 bucks more, you can get a luxury vibrator that yet yeah, doesn't have an insertable motor, but it's really fucking good. So for this, this one is 40 bucks. So you're paying $90 for this, You, which is similar in shape to the Jeju Uma which isn't the, which is a lot better than this. And you can get that or this similar in shape to the Jeju Mimi. That's again, around like 90 ish dollars, a hundred bucks. Just go get that. It was a great idea. You try. <laughs> you, it was a good idea, but it really needs some work. Now, more products in this line are coming out, I think, in January. They're making a rabbit vibrator, so that's, you know, with the, the long part and then, like, a clip part here. I don't know how they're going to make two things vibrate. I'm nervous. So, for right now, Jeju, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm sorry. I normally love your, stu your stuff. Go get the Jiki. Go get the, the Uma. Go get the Mimi. Go get not these things because they're, you know. Until next time, you can find me at SunnyMegatron.com. I'm Sunny Megatron on all social media. And yeah, don't forget to watch my TV show on Showtime. Uh, you can get it on demand, whether you watch on Showtime, Hulu Plus, Roku, all the places where you can get Showtime. Look it up. I'll see you later. I'm going to go make my vagina happy and make it up to her. Now with Ooh products.